Hey everybody, Mike here from DIY Aqua Pros. Today I'll be unboxing and reviewing a fully submersible 50 watt aquarium heater made by Via Aqua. Over the last 6 months I've used a couple of these small ones as well as the 200 and 300 watt models and I really like them for the price. There's links in the description for these heaters right where I got them on Amazon so if you're interested don't forget to take a look. So let's get right into it. First you'll notice the heater is packaged nicely, it has a styrofoam block protecting the heating element from too much movement and that's something that I really appreciate. These heaters come with a two suction cup attachment so you can stick this thing exactly where you want it. These suction cups are pretty good quality and I haven't had any issues with them in the six heaters that I currently own. On both sides of the heater we have an on indication light that fires up when the heating element is active. We can adjust the temperature by twisting this knob on the top here, right or left, and that's also going to fill in or remove red squares down here on the temperature indicator. Now this is one of the reasons why I decided to get this heater in the first place, and I know it's not anything new, but I like having an idea of the temperature I'm setting rather than just guessing how much to turn a dial and having to wait to see what my tank temperature gets to. Like on many other inexpensive heaters. So how accurate is this and can you trust the temperature that you set on the heater will be the temperature your tank gets to? Well it depends and we'll talk about that in a minute. Don't forget to read the instructions and learn how to position your heater correctly in your tank and how to make a drip loop etc. So let's get this thing in a tank now and talk about how good it really works. So this small 50 watt heater is recommended for tanks up to 13 gallons and you know I think you can go a little higher I'd say 20 gallons as long as it's not freezing outside of your aquarium. And that's really the main factor here. Maintaining a steady temp of 75 degrees Fahrenheit for a 55 gallon tank isn't extremely difficult if it's 68 degrees outside of it. But if it's 38 degrees because your tank's in the garage and it's the middle of winter, that's another story. So you and your heater will have to figure out how to work together and keep your aquarium the temperature you want. It's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit out here and my 300 watt via aqua heater is set to about 84. The temperature in my tank is balanced at 76 degrees Fahrenheit and it stays this temp pretty much all the time. Again, it took a little time to figure out what exactly I had to set the heater to to maintain this temperature, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Overall, I give these Via Aqua heaters a B plus and think they're a pretty good option for someone looking for an inexpensive heater that's going to allow them to rest assured their tank will stay a consistent temperature. Now there's a lot of different heaters out there, but I really just recommend you buy a brand that you trust. I'm sure at some point you almost bought or did buy a super cheap heater online only to find out that it was too good to be true. I definitely have. Buying super cheap heaters can be a dangerous game and there's no way now I'm willing to put something sketchy in my tank that holds the power to destroy it. Again the links in the description are a good place to start if you're considering a new heater that you also want to trust. Hey thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and check out DIYAquapros.com for more product reviews, science, DIY projects, and aquatic life profiles. We'll see you next time.